in early 2012 when most people working in pharmacovigilance were worried about the new gvp guidelines in the european union which was fully focusing on starting ovia medsafe in those days all the pharmacovigilance service providers were based in the metro cities like mumbai hyderabad delhi bangalore however vijay was determined to set up his company in his own hometown that is Coimbatore, which is a tier 2 city. I still recollect having met Vijay for the first time in my office in October 2012. At that time, I was working with Sun Pharma, where I was working as the head of global financial vigilance. And Vijay had visited us to evaluate any outsourcing opportunities for Ovia MedSafe. He was willing to take up small or big projects. Within two weeks of our meeting, we had an urgent requirement from one of the regulatory agencies to submit 18 PSURs, and that too within eight weeks. The project was very complex because we wanted a vendor who would first database the thousand odd adverse event reports and then prepare those PSURs. We immediately reached out to Vijay and he agreed to support. We were initially skeptical if a new company like Ovia Medsafe will be able to support. And moreover, scalability could be an issue because it is located in a tier two city like Coimbatore. However, Vijay managed it very well and his team worked very hard and delivered the entire project within six weeks. I still remember his team worked on Saturdays, Sundays, extended hours, and they really worked very well. All the PSURs were accepted by the regulatory agency without a single comment. It has been 10 years now, and many companies have followed Vijay's footsteps and established pharmacovigilance operations in over a do dozen tier two cities in India. One large IT company has also set up pharmacovigilance operations in Coimbatore, but Vijay only sees this as an opportunity for Ovia Medsafe. Pharmaco Vigilance is here to grow, and all of you would agree with me. I wish Ovia Medsafe and Vijay the best for many more decades to come.